The law of energy conservation states that none can neither create nor destroy any form of energy. We can only transform one form of energy to another. Consequently, the first law of thermodynamics states, for any discrete system, the amount of energy coming in is equal to the amount of energy getting out. A permanent magnet is a natural material which has the capacity to maintain a permanent magnetic field. Hence it is a permanent source of energy. The potential electric difference will build up between the terminals of a wire cutting the lines of force of a magnetic field of a permanent magnet. Faraday's Law of Magnetic Induction In most of actual electrical generators, the rotor is actuated by a prime mover, and consists of electromagnets. While the stator consists of coils which will generate electricity upon rotation, some of the generated electricity is consumed by the rotor electromagnets. Generating electricity from permanent magnets is identical to the actual process using an electrical generator. However the mechanical prime mover is replaced by an electrical motor including permanent magnets. Hence the mechanical energy is replaced by the magnetic field of permanent magnets. Generating electricity using permanent magnets uses the same design. The electromagnets of the rotor are replaced by permanent magnets. The prime mover is replaced by a DC electric motor. Some of the electricity generated will be used to power this DC motor. Neither the law of energy conservation, nor the first law of thermodynamics states that we have to pay money for energy. The magnetic field of permanent magnets is a naturally occurring energy which is free of charge. The choice and design of every component and control circuits is endless. Even the location of permanent magnets and coils can be altered. However the concept of using the magnetic field of permanent magnets as a source of energy is valid. 